rainy week after that perfect eclipse day, of course. But I love how we're looking ahead <laughs> to a great Saturday. It always doesn't always work that way. It's going to be nice. It'll be drier for us. Give us a chance to dry out a little bit. And then our temperatures are really going to be climbing. If you haven't turned your air conditioning on yet, this may be the first true test. It probably is going to be for uh, for a lot of us. Here's Max HD radar. Just some light showers across the metro at the moment. They're a little bit gussy, though, so you'll probably notice them kind of blowing sideways. Some of those raindrops. But if you're wanting to take the dog out for a walk anytime soon, I do see a little bit of a dry slot there just to our south. And if we put that into motion, you can see that it's going to try to rotate uh, into the metro area here within the next 30 minutes or so. But you'll still probably walk into a little bit of patchy drizzle, maybe a light shower. As we look outside right now, can't really see too much of downtown, so visibility has been reduced just a little bit. 66 is our high today. All in all, it was still a pretty typical day for us, but look at our rainfall. We've picked up 1.03 uh, inches of rainfall for the day. We're at nearly two and three quarters of an inch for the month, so we're actually running a surplus and that's compared to last month in March when we were actually a pretty sizable deficit. But now things are starting to play catch up just a little bit. Other areas also saw some pretty healthy rainfall. Frankfurt seeing nearly an inch and a half of rainfall. Jeffersonville about one and uh, 1.4 inches. So we'll probably still add to those totals just a little bit here before the evening is done. Let's look at future cast. It'll show this rain pushing out of here for tonight, but we'll still have a couple of lingering showers around. You've probably noticed those wind speeds as well. Those are going to continue to be fairly gussy even through tomorrow morning, which should see some more light bands of showers pushing into the region. But then we'll start to dry out for the afternoon. Some sunshine will try to return. Still going to be quite gusty and temperatures in the lower 60s. It'll be a cool start to our day on Saturday, but we'll have total sunshine. That's going to be very nice and look at these temperatures in the afternoon climbing into the lower 70s. That will be above normal by about five or so degrees and we're only going to be getting warmer from there as we head through next week. Our high is likely going to be 15 degrees above normal, if not a little bit more than that. Now as we get into our Sunday morning, we'll notice our temperatures already fairly warm by 10 o'clock in the middle 60s off the bat. We'll have some clouds around, but then we'll see those numbers really jump into the 80s on Sunday. That's going to feel quite warm for us. But and uh, another thing we'll be dealing with on Sunday are those winds currently sustained at about 15 miles per hour here in the metro. 20 mile per hour sustained winds in Hardinsburg, E-Town and in Mumfordville. But we have seen those gusts over 30 miles per hour at times too. Here's a look at that hometown forecast for tomorrow. Although we'll have a couple of lingering showers and temperatures will be pretty similar to today, but a few degrees cooler. It's going to be windy. West winds sustained at about 15 to 20 miles per hour, gusting up to 35 miles per hour at times. So it will be a fairly windy Friday afternoon for us, but the seven day forecast looks very nice and something that we would more likely find in May than April. 83 degrees on Monday. That's going to be very warm and you probably will need to run your air conditioner for the first time this year if you haven't done so already. Staying in the 80s through most of next week will be kind of hovering on either side of it and some rain chances will be returning as we head through the middle parts of next week as well. Nothing looking at too significant at the moment, but we will have to keep an eye on the potential for any severe thunderstorms, especially with temperatures being so warm, but that's still a week away. We can enjoy some much quieter weather for a few days until then.